Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now, today we are talking about something that is really cool. And that is the white striped gecko, also known as the lined gecko. And you can kind of see why it has both of its names. Um, you can see the white stripes across the tail, but it also has the line. Oh, are you going to do a stealth attack on me? No? So we have a female, yep, the female just jumped right there and we have the male sitting up here on the side glass. I did have to move a piece of rock so that we could actually see these guys. Um, they are nocturnal, so they do like to be out more at night. Um, oh, you're just going crazy over there, just as long as you don't shoot this way. These guys, origin is from uh, Indonesia, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands. So they're seen a little bit all over everywhere. Uh, the diet for these guys is insects, uh, primarily crickets and mealworms, and then they also eat rapashi as well. Typically we feed them the crested gecko diet. I know you can see the reflection of my hand in here, but I just wanted to zoom in and show you guys these crazy colors. And these guys are super cool and very, very laid back. They remind me a lot of crested geckos, but yeah, the other one, <laughs> the other one just got a cricket down there. <laughs> Uh, substrate for these guys, I do recommend bioactive with these um, using forest blend or cocoa fiber as well as moss. See, I just opened the door and he just spun around. Um, these guys do need high humidity and so you want to make sure to have a bedding that is actually going to hold that humidity. But enclosure size, these guys need a minimum of the 18 by 18 by 36, uh, especially if you're housing two, we're housing a male and a female for breeding. Um, I apologize if you hear uh, voices in the background, we are doing Black Friday sales, so it's a busy morning. And I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving and got to spend time with your friends and family. Um, but yeah, 18 by 18 by 36 is the absolute minimum size for these guys. Um, like I said, especially if you are housing two of them together, do it. don't go out. Sorry, I kind of had to jump, but I don't want to get you in the door. These guys are so, so fast. Uh, lights, like I said, these guys are nocturnal and so they're gonna be more active at nighttime. However, these guys are making me liars and they're being super active right now. And there we go. Now you're bounced over so I can see you better and move the camera around. But you can see I'm just scooting around. Uh, temperature on these guys, the basking spot should be between 80 and 90 degrees with a ambient temperature of 80 to 90. And then at nighttime, these guys should be between 70 and 75 degrees. Look at that cool eye. You can actually tell a lot about these guys from their eyes. If they have nice clear eyes like that, that means that they're actually really healthy. They do have the sticky feet, which means that they can climb up glass as they are arboreal. Yes, I'm talking about you. Are you, are you turning your head? Um, UV, you don't necessarily have to have UV with these guys because they are nocturnal, but uh, UV is always beneficial to uh, any reptile so we always recommend it and you can see here uh, we have lots of rocks for them to hide in the crevices and then we also have driftwood in here for them to climb up as well as the background for them to scoot around that's the biggest thing with these you want lots of climbing space for them um, and places for them to kind of chill out and hide out lifespan and this is actually the crazy part I actually looked at this online and so in the wild, these guys actually only live three to five years, but in captivity with proper care, these guys can live 10 to 20 years. So that's quite the difference between in the wild and captivity. And like I said, captivity, captive bred animals are always the way to go. They're just overall healthier and it's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, the size, so as adults, these guys are anywhere between 9 and 11 inches, which isn't terribly big. 
these guys are closely related to the Tokei Gecko and they have the speed, but they're actually pretty docile. They don't like to be handled just like the Tokei. And these guys typically will only bite if threatened or if you corner them. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, definitely beginner as far as like care, these guys are pretty straightforward, but handling, they can be handled, but leave it to the experts uh, because like Tokays, you know, they can drop their tails and things that we just don't want to happen. Humidity for these guys should be between 65 and 75 degrees. I'm trying to get my camera to zoom in on that tail. I love that stripe. Just absolutely beautiful coloration on these guys. So if you're looking for someone just hanging out and look pretty, then these guys are definitely somebody to keep in mind. Are you gonna go flighty again? Yep, are you gonna move around? But look at those sticky pads. Are you trying to hide? I'm trying to prepare for you so you don't bolt. Uh, these guys are surface drinkers, so you do want to make sure to miss them. Um, and in order to accommodate the humidity, I would just miss them once in the morning and then once in the evening. And I would get some temperature gauges in there. <laughs> you can just see the face sticking. I see your reflection. Whoop. Are you going to come flying up here? Are you? No. Are you going to get the other one? You're going to get both gone? I'm going to slowly close the door so just so I can be, be prepared. You're going to go down and hide. You're going to go cuddle? Oh, that's adorable. But yeah, like I said, these guys are nocturnal, so I am really disturbing them uh, while they should be sleeping. But now the price on these guys. Uh, these it's really not terrible typically these guys range anywhere from 15 to 50 dollars a piece um, we are selling these guys as a breeding pair and so we have a really good special going on with them but yeah these guys are super amazing animals they're I want to make sure that I didn't forget anything on their care sheet but yeah, if you put some Rapache in here for them, um, I would just go with the Crested Gecko blend. And then also, oh, I did forget something. So with your insects, make sure to dust them with calcium, just like you would any other reptile. That way they're getting the proper calcium. And uh, you can put a water dish in here if you want. Um, we actually just removed it so we could rearrange this a little bit. But uh definitely 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 need to make sure you're missing so that these guys have something to drink i wonder if i can get a shot he's just like peering his head out here he likes so if you are escaping this you can see how they're hiding down in the uh in the rocks so they're gonna hide in the nooks and crannies and that's gonna be the way that they live sorry that was my finger poking out there but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, got to spend a lot of time with friends and family. So as always guys, keep your family close, but your reptiles closer. <laughs>